I'm Hillary Howard. This is the opening round. You know how it works. Each of the teams begins with 100 points, 10 up for a right answer, 10 off for a wrong answer. The contestants here in the studio do not see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. Who's on first? As this is the first It's Academic game of the season, let's look at people who were first. See if you can identify the following. In 1969, he became the first person to walk northwest. Neil Armstrong? Yes, that's good. This first Secretary of State became our third president. Dominion? Thomas Jefferson? Correct. The first person to reach the South Pole was this Norwegian explorer. Wooten? Roald Amundsen? Correct. She was the first woman appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. Dominion? Sandra Day O'Connor? Yes. The first full U.S. Admiral was this 1864 hero of Mobile Bay. Dominion? Farragut? That's it. She was the first wife of England's Henry VIII. Dominion. Catherine of Aragon. You got it. He won the first Nobel Physics Prize for discovering x-rays. Wooten. Rankin. It is. In 1927, he became the first man to fly solo across the Atlantic Northwest. Klingberg. That is right, and that's the end of the round. <laughs> Sponsored by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. Let's hear it for the cheerleaders for Northwest High School. Good to see you all. Hello, welcome back. This is the first show of the 54th season of It's Academic, and it's a pretty big year. The National Archives is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act, and in honor of that, we've invited David Ferriero, who's the head of the National Archives, to join us later. He will be a guest quiz master, so uh, stick around for that. Now it's time to meet the teams. First, from Germantown, the gentleman from Northwest High School. First, we say hello to Garrett Allen. Hi, my name is Garrett Allen. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Northwest. I'd like to thank our principal, Mrs. Dempsey, and our USC's program or organizer, Dr. Bornswag. Great. Manav Parikh, hello. Hi, I'm Manav Parikh. I'm a 16-year-old senior at Northwest, and I'd like to thank Mr. Valezak, our coach and sponsor. And Joshua Lee. Hi, my name is Josh Lee. I'm a 16-year-old senior, and I would like to thank our friends, family, and our alternates, Allison and Colin. All right, gentlemen, these questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. Here we go. Choose one item from each column, and you'll name what early automobile manufactured by Henry Ford. The Model T. That's it. Historical, rhetorical, lyrical. Which of these words would describe a question asked by someone who doesn't really expect an answer? Rhetorical. Yes. Coffee, wool, machinery. Which one of these products is a leading export of Nicaragua? Coffee. That's it. Corn cod. Rearrange the letters in these two foods. And you'll name what Massachusetts town near Lexington that Concord. saw fighting early. Yes, that's it. In the Revolutionary War. Concord. <laughs> Misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows, though there are many variations of this quote. The original comes from what Shakespeare played with a stormy title. And your answer? Uh, In three, two, one, it no. is the Tempest. Northwest High School, good job. Two other points. From Rockville's Wooten High School, first we get to greet Eve Fleissig. 
hi my name is eve slice eight i'm a fourteen year old freshman at wooten high school and i'd like to thank all the members of our team who couldn't make it here today all ready problem sarma hi my name is probably a star my i'm a sixteen year old junior at wooten high school and i would like to thank our sponsor mr bentley for supporting us and martin rick out chick hi martin rick out chick i'm a fourteen year old freshman at wooten and i'd like to thank all our friends and family who are here to support us all right here we go Choose one word from each column, and you'll name what frontier mail system that flourished in the early 1860s. Pony Express. That's it. A cemetery, a cathedral, a fortress. If you were taking a tour of a historic citadel, you'd be visiting which of these? A fortress? Yes. Eeyore, Toto, Babar. Which of these beloved characters from children's literature would look most appropriate as the symbol on a Republican Party poster? Babar. You're right. Loners wane. Your score will not wane if you rearrange these letters to name what Louisiana city famous for its Mardi Gras festival. New Orleans. That's it. He has been given the gift of expression without very many ideas to express. This was one critic's unkind opinion of what American writer, the author of The Great Gatsby. Fitzgerald. Uh, Fitzgerald. That's it. Good job, Lynn High School. 200... from Sterling's Dominion High School. Jack Harrington, how are you? Good, fine, how are you? I'm, I'm Jack good. Harrington. I am a 15-year-old sophomore. Um, and I would like to thank all our friends and family who came out here today to support and cheer us on. Nice. Audrey Newman, hi. Hi, I'm Audrey Newman. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I want to thank our alternates, Ian and Ngozi. And Remy Oliver. Hi, I'm Remy Oliver. I'm a 16-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank Miss Mann, who could not, unfortunately not be with us today. Okay. First clue. Choose one name from each column, and you'll name what flagship used by Christopher Columbus? Santa Maria. You've got it. Serene, quick-tempered, suspicious. A person with a placid temperament can best be described in which of these ways? Serene. Yes. Madagascar, Tahiti, Aruba. Which of these three islands would be a possible stopover for a ship on a Caribbean cruise? Aruba. Aruba it is. Rye Tar. You can rearrange the letters in this phrase to name what type of blood vessel, such as the aorta, that carries blood away from the heart. Artery. That's right. How do the peasants die? These were the dying words of what Russian nobleman, best known as the author of War and Peace? Tolstoy. Good job, Dominion High School with 240 points. That's the end of the round. You already know your giant card is a great way to back real savings. By the way, while everyone goes to Sheer Madness, you can check out our Facebook page. We'd like you to like us. Let's recap the scores before we jump into the picture-perfect round. Northwest, 200 points. Wooten, 220. Dominion, 240 points. Okay, 20 points for a correct answer, 20 points off for an incorrect answer. Here's the first question. Cactus comes in various forms, many of which are pollinated by what small flying mammals? Wooten. Bat. Yes. Choice. These plaques can be seen at the Alamo, the mission commanded by what American? William Travis, John Jacob Astor, or Kit Carson? And the answer is... John Jacob Astor? Nope, it was William Travis. Four times higher than Niagara. These are Kaitur Falls in what South American country whose capital is Georgetown? Wooten. Guyana. That is right. On your screens, solve for X. Northwest. Yeah. Answer? Um, it is 24. 24 is right. This large rock was a meeting site for Native Americans of what tribe? 
the last of whom were described in a novel by Dominion. Mohicans? Yes, that's right. Alligators spend much of their time basking in the sun since they are cold-blooded members of what class of gluten? Reptiles. Yes. Daffodils like these appear prominently in I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, a poem by what English romantic writer? Dominion. Wordsworth. You're right. Identify these trees whose branches are symbols of peace and which northwest? All French. You are right, and that's the end of the round. prepare these students for competition. Let's begin with Northwest High School from Germantown. 240 points, by the way. Manas, who's with you? Hi, this is uh, Miss Lamb Stensi, our principal, and this is Mr. Jason Vlazek, our sponsor and AP Euro teacher. Great to see you guys. From Rockville's Wooten High School, Prahlad, who is with you? Hi, this is Mr. Brown. He is our administrator and vice principal. And this is Mr. Bentley. He is our sponsor and AP chemistry teacher. Good to see you guys. And finally, from Sterling's Dominion High School, Audrey, who are the women with you? Behind me to my right is Mrs. Runge, one of our coaches. And behind me to my left is Mrs. Braxton, one of our assistant principals. Good to see you. a fun part of the competition, Northwest is going to answer questions, and Wooten will decide which packet they answer questions from. One, two, or three? Wooten, what's it going to be? Two. Packet number two. Here we go. A gauntlet of ice which winter threw down was the description the poet Longfellow gave what sort of slow-moving rivers of ice? Glacier. Glacier is it. About 15 miles north of West Palm Beach, Florida, or in Florida, there's an island named for what chief Roman god similar to the Greek Zeus? Jupiter. It is Jupiter. Although D.H. Lawrence is best known as a novelist, there is a plaque to his memory in the poet's corner of what famed London Abbey? Westminster. Westminster it is. Here's your science question. Helium, hafnium, ozone. The sun's radiant energy comes from a process of fusion. During this process, hydrogen is converted to which of these? Helium. You are right. The Liberty Bell supposedly cracked in 1835 while tolling for the death of what man, the fourth chief justice of the Supreme Court? Marshall. Marshall it is. Here's your math question. Oh, nope, I've got another question first. Modern theaters are sometimes built in the round, but what was the round name of the theater where many Shakespeare plays were first performed? Uh, Antiques Theater? No, it's the Globe Theater. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Three. It is three. And now a question from our guest quiz master, the head of the National Archives, David Ferriam. The 1964 Civil Rights Act was signed into law by what 36th president? Kennedy? It was Lyndon Johnson. But good job, Northwest. 357. Okay, Wooten, you're up. Dominion, packet one or three? Packet one. Packet one. She says decisively. 
this year we mark the seventy fifth anniversary of what comic book hero whose real name is bruce wayne batman it is batman louis pasteur made many scientific discoveries including a vaccine for what disease spread by the bite of an infected animal rabies it is rabies things haven't been the same in england since nineteen eighteen when the first woman became a member of what lower house of parliament uh, house of commons it is house of commons science question isobars isotherms isomers on a weather map the lines connecting points at the same temperature are called which of these isotherms that's right noah had his ark but the ark royal was the flagship of the english navy in the 1588 battle against what spanish fleet spanish armada that's it many brothers have gone into business together but what two german brothers are best known for their work in collecting fairy tales Grim. It is Grim. Math question. In the area of the rectangle, if the area of the rectangle is 8, what is the value of x? 2. 2 is right. And now a question from David Ferriero. The year 1964 also saw ratification of the 24th Amendment, banning what sort of tax that required a payment for voting? Poll tax. That is it. Good <laughs> night, Packet number three for Dominion High School. An Iowa store called Pella Books specializes in books about what board game in which each side begins with eight pawns? Chess. It is chess. Sir Isaac Newton used the phrase bearded stars to describe what recurring astronomical objects studied by Newton's friend Edmund Halley. Comet. It is Comet. His enemies got a bad case of hay fever when John Hay served in what high cabinet post filled today by John Kerry? Secretary of State. Yes. Science question. Decrease, increase, remain constant. At sea level, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But if a container of water is subjected to high pressure, the boiling point would do which of these? Increase. That is right, increase. In 1682, Jean Picard became the first person to accurately measure degrees of what imaginary lines that extend from the North to the South Pole? Longitude. You got it. Many chronicles are based on historical fact, but Ray Bradbury wrote his science fiction chronicles about what nearby planet? Mars. It is Mars. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. And your answer? 32. 32 is it. <laughs> Here's the guest question. Our guest questioner, guest quiz master, David Ferrier. The Civil Rights Act had originally been proposed by what 35th president who preceded Lyndon Johnson? Kennedy. That is it. Another bonus goes to the main high school. That's the end of the round. We'll be right back. Hey, Dave got here. I've been all over Virginia this past year. Amazing people. Now it's your chance to get in on this year's games. Go to my Facebook page, that's Game Guy, and send me your crazy games. I'm gonna pick the best ones, and you may come over to your place and film a TV spot with you and your friends playing it. And hey, let's make it interesting. First time visitors at cabinet discounters are often amazed that we offer so many products. Some are surprised by the high quality, and others didn't realize we actually manufacture granite and quartz countertops. I'm Elaine Mick inviting you to visit one of our Cabinet Discounter 7 showrooms for a free consultation with an experienced designer. See photos of gorgeous kitchen and bath projects at CabinetDiscounters.com. You'll find a lot more than just cabinets at CabinetDiscounters.com. 
everyone at home should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Thanks to you, Giant has been able to award over $90 million to thousands of schools over the past 25 school rewards. Welcome back. It's time for the grab bag round. Anything can happen. Anyone can pull ahead. Correct answers worth 20 points up or down. Visual questions, 30 points up or down. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. The biggest tourist attraction in Austin, Minnesota is a museum dedicated to what meat product? Spam. <laughs> yes, it is spam. The Harding administration's teapot dome scandal involved the leasing of government lands yielding what valuable fuel? Dominion. Oil. It is oil. In the U.S., the average man's haircut is most expensive in what Alaskan town that shares its name with a K-initialed bear? Wooten. Call. Nope, it's Kodiak. Good try. On your screens for 30 points. Russia's Catherine the Great was an admirer of what liberal French philosopher, the author of Candide? Dominion. Voltaire. It is Voltaire. A Chavis novel, Things Fall Apart, describes the impact of colonialism in what African country? Wooten. Nigeria. Nigeria's right. In representing a family budget on a circle graph, how many degrees would be used to represent an item which is 30% of the total? Northwest. Answer? 36. 36. Nope, it's 108. What quality found in the title of Charles Dickens' novel about an old shop is also said to have killed the cat? Dominion. Curiosity. Yes, on your screens for 30 points. Instead of lugging dead ghouls, rearrange the letters here to name what treaty that ended the Mexican-American War in 18 Wooten. Guadalupe Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. That is right. The 1937 Hindenburg airship explosion occurred at Lakehurst in what East Coast state? New Jersey. Yes, that's right, Dominion. In this novel, From the Earth to the Moon, Jules Verne described a spacecraft made from what metallic element whose principal ore is bauxite? Dominion. Aluminum. Yes. Talk about incentives. Residents could earn two ounces of gold last summer for every kilogram of weight they lost in what de-initialed Dominion? Answer? In three dots. It's Dubai that we were looking for on your screens for 30 points. This lake provides one of the scenic vistas in what Canadian National Park whose name ends in a double F? Banff. Yes, that's right. And that's the end of the game. It's easy values. The scores are now official. We begin with Germantown's Northwest High School. Garrett, Manav, and Joshua with 340 points. Sterling's Dominion High School, Remy, Audrey, and Jack with 535 points. Winning it on the last question, Rockville's Wooten High School, Martine Prelot and Eve with 545 points. Good job. They'll be coming back to compete in a playoff game next year. I'd like to thank David Ferriero, head of the National Archives, for being a guest quiz master. And next week, folks, it'll be Mount Vernon, St. Albans, and Westfield. Until then, I'm Hillary Howard. It is so glad to have you back. See you next time. Everyone else, come on down.